In this tutorial in CyberLink Audio Director, we'd like to show you how you can fix a situation where you receive some raw footage and the audio is only on the left side or the right side. You only have one channel of audio. Here I have a sermon that I was working on for a church, and if I play this, you'll hear the problem instantly. Hey, uh, we're going to be in Exodus again, so that's what we're going through as a church. And so you notice that all we have is left channel audio. You can't see the problem when you look at the timeline of the clip, when you look at the audio waveform, but we heard it very clearly a moment ago. How can you fix that with Audio Director? Let me show you the simple solution. I'm going to highlight the clip and click on it with the right mouse button. And then with the Edit Audio option selected from the pop-up menu, I'm going to choose Audio Director. Now this assumes that you have Audio Director loaded on your system. It's an extra program. Sometimes CyberLink adds it with a special sale. It is included in one of the CyberLink products the Director 365, I believe. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this function. So this is only for those of you who have or would like to get CyberLink Audio Director, the companion program. So I'm going to click on that and we'll open our Audio Director screen. And it imports the file that I have. And now I see my problem very clearly because I have left channel audio, right channel is totally silent. Now the easy way to fix the problem is to edit one channel at a time. So I, I notice I have the multi-channel editing open, that's multiple channels. I'm going to click to the single channel button, which is the fourth button from the right above my waveform. Now I can pick either channel I'm going to work on. We'll work on the left channel and I will drag my time indicator to the little right, the yellow, and stretch out and drag across the entirety of the channel. Then I'll click on the copy icon, which is the third one from the left, and we will copy that audio. Then I'm going to click on the other track. I'll click on R. And with the playhead at the left side, I'm going to click on the paste icon which is the fourth icon from the left. And now I pasted a copy of that same audio. If I play it, I'll be able to hear whether I positioned it perfectly or not. Let's listen. Okay, okay, good. Good morning. Now I'm only hearing right channel. I have to go back to the top and click on multi-track. And now let's play it. I was worried that was a sign I wasn't supposed to be here. It's good to see you. I know it's been a couple weeks now. So now we find that we have the same audio in the left channel and the right channel. All I need to do is click on the X at the upper right corner of Audio Director. It tells me they'll all be saved back to Power Director because they're integrated. I'll click on the Yes button. And it takes the modified track. I see I have some clipping. That's another issue. I put it back into the timeline. Then when I hit play... And uh, we're going to look at Exodus chapter 12 is where we're going to spend most of the time. We'll look at 11. So now I have good audio, left channel and right channel, thanks to a little bit of help from Audio Director as part of the Power Director suite of tools.